The wheels on Alans Cruz Middle School East bus completely rolled off while students were still inside the vehicle. Luckily, they were riding down a residential road and no one was hurt. But parents I spoke with say they've heard nothing from the school about why this happened and they fear it could happen again. Alans Cruz Middle School bus broke down on the side of the road. The reason? What appears to be two wheels detached while the bus was in motion. A photo making its rounds on social media, sparking concern and frustration with parents. Nobody said anything to any of us. Tammy Capero has a seventh grade granddaughter who attends the school. She says there was no email, phone call or alert to tell families what happened. Capero picks her granddaughter up from school, but on social media, parents who say their child was on the bus did not hear from school officials. I would hope the school would do more about the safety of the children and reach out to the parents and let them know that they are doing everything they can to make the buses more safe for their children to get on. So what actually happened and how do wheels just roll off of a moving bus? According to a Lance Cruz school official, quote, it appears that it was caused by a mechanical failure involving a bolt and the district has not had any other issues of this nature in the past. They went on to say extensive bouncing caused by gravel roads and potholes may be the cause. Wheels just don't come off of school buses. Andy DeRossi is the owner of Detroit Bus Company. He's repaired buses for years and he says they are one of the safest vehicles and it's unlikely Michigan roads are to blame for wheels detaching. School buses are made to take hundreds of thousands of pounds of force on their axles. They're extremely, extremely tough vehicles. Derossi says it's likely the bolts or lug nuts loosened over time and the daily inspector missed it. And frequently drivers just give a vehicle a, a quick visual inspection. Uh, which is oftentimes not enough. Seven Action News asked Lance Cruz if the bus had recently been repaired or the time of the last state inspection, but we did not get a response. The district says another bus was able to pick up the displaced kids yesterday and there was only a few minute delay. In Chesterfield, Kiara Hay, Seven Action News.